So this is an update on my case study, which is the Gardenia Organic Gardening website. Now this is a case study that I set up using an age domain purchased from odis.global, a company that specializes in premium age domains. And in fact, they're actually the main headline sponsor for this year's Affiliate Gavin Expo here in the UK, a great event that I'm organizing this year that is aimed around people who love building websites, making money online, and passive income. So if that is you, the link is in the description. Make sure you check out the affiliate gathering. But today's video, I'm going to show you what the website is doing right now, what we've been working on, how it's grown, and a bit of a spoiler alert. This is the fastest growing website I have ever owned. In fact, I don't know anybody in my personal group of friends that's grown one any quicker than this. We're over 10,000 visitors a month for a website that is less than four months old. Now, I think that's pretty impressive. And in fact, the numbers are doubling day on day. So who knows, in another two or three months, this could be a 50, 60,000 page view a month website, and it would only be six months old. So it is pretty impressive. And I thought in today's video, we'll go through some of the numbers and just show you behind the scenes. Let's have a look at the website, how many articles we've got on there, the word count, when was the first article published, where did I get the domain from, what have I done to the domain? So. All interesting stuff, and like I say, I'm really excited about this project. So, should we do it? Let's get into this. Hi, and welcome back to the channel again. Yeah, so this is an update on my premium age domain website case study that I purchased from odis.global. It's a company that I've used to purchase this age domain for this case study, but I've also used them and purchased some other age domains that I'm using on other projects as well. And again, I've seen really good success from using an age domain. Now I chose to do an aged website case study because I've never done one before. ODYS reached out to me and said, would you like to try one? Feel free to pick a domain. We will give you the domain for free and you can test it out, build a website, do a public case study. Whether the results are good or bad, you can at least know what the process is like using an aged domain. So the agent domain I purchased was called Gardenia Organic. It was an organic flower shop in New York where I'm targeting my traffic from, from the US. And it had lots of history, years and years of history, and a good strong catalog of backlinks that the website had attracted. There's links in there from New York Times and some of the world's best gardening and florist websites. So it had a lot of age and a lot of authority. And that's why it had the price tag. It was around two and a half thousand euros at the time I bought it. So it was quite an expensive purchase. I'd never bought a domain of that value. I'd always purchased one for 10 or $20 from GoDaddy or somewhere like that. And actually built it out on what I call a fresh, clean domain. And like I say, I've had successes with many websites doing that, but it's usually a very, very slow process. Now, the big difference with this is the success has been almost instant. Within day one of publishing content, it ranked on page one of Google. I also had my first sale after 48 hours. Somebody clicked an Amazon link and I made a commission. So all the signs from literally day one was very, very positive. So I put together a few slides on a presentation. I think it might be the easiest way for you to see what's going on on the site. But before we do, if you are new to the channel and you want to follow along with this case study, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and hit that thumbs up if you're liking this case study. It's been one of the most exciting for me and there is a full playlist. You can follow along from day one if you want to have a look at the entire case study. I think we're on video 10 or 11 now. So there is plenty of documented history on this case study. But for now, let's head over to the computer and we'll take a look at the progress of GardeniaOrganic.com. Okay, so here we are on the website. You can see here we're running the popcorn theme as previously mentioned. And you can see we have lots of content going on the website. So pretty good at the moment. Let me just show you actually where I got the domain from and what backlinks it had then and what it's got actually now. So here we go, this is ODYS. This is where I actually purchased this domain from, this premium age domain. And if we scroll past here, you can see this is the history that it shows you. 
if we click and open one, you can see it was an organic florist uh, in New York in the USA, which was one of the main reasons why I actually purchased this. I like the word organic and flowers, and it was an American-based company, which is where I'm targeting my audience and my traffic. So here you can see some of the details. The Obviously, this is the our domain in the middle. The red ones are the backlink from very authoritative sources, like there you go, New York Magazine, Time Out, Self.com, TheCut.com, Vogue.com. I mean, you know, how much is it going to cost you to get a link in Vogue? Probably $500, $600, I would have thought. So you can see it has a number of really strong links here. And then all these links on the outside are still all topic relevant, but slightly smaller authoritative sites now you can see here that the age of the website was 15 years old when i purchased it it had no traffic it hadn't been used for a few months that's because the age domain was parked and you can see some of the metric scores here so dr of 31 mos rating of 31 as well and it had 106 referring domains that's 106 unique websites individual websites pointing to there. So if we have a look at the actual um, backlinks now, you'll see if this has gone up. So 106 came with the domain. How many have we got now? So this is a screenshot from Moz and you can see there the authority is 32. Linking domains is now 290. And you can see here that we have 119 have been added and we've only lost five. So all these green bars here, over the last few days and weeks are new backlinks. All these green bars are new backlinks. So you can see on this day, for instance, we gained six new backlinks, but yet in this day here, we lost one backlink. So you can see we are gaining far more backlinks than we are losing. Now that could obviously be because it's part of a public case study and people are linking in their websites as an example of a case study. Or it could be the great content that we're publishing that's getting shared and attracting backlinks. Whichever it is, we are gaining backlinks. And that is all that's important, really, that we are gaining relevant, good quality backlinks. OK, so if we have a look at some traffic numbers, this is a screenshot from my Google Analytics mobile app. And you can see there the date at the top, 29th of January to 27th of February, pretty much 30 days. And you can see there we have 6,460 unique visitors, which is 72.73% up and we've had sessions of 7,400. In the bottom corner there, you can see we actually topped over the 10,000 page views per month. We've got 10,020 page views there, which is 53.5% up. So you can see there month on month, we are growing at a rate of anywhere between 50 and 80%. It's been jumping around now. Now, obviously this is after four months. So 10,000 page views, after four months, I've not seen those numbers before on a brand new domain, a fresh new domain. Usually you're only seeing their numbers by about month five, six, maybe even seven. So to get a website that is four months old, that had no traffic that had been parked, used before, but then not used for some time, and get that within four months to 10,000 page views is pretty good. And you can see the growth here on this chart. This is from Google Search Console. And you can see there we've an average position of 24.3 with over 361,000 impressions. You can see that graph is growing nicely. Now, also don't forget this is not only four months old, but it's also a summer niche. So it's within the gardening niche. And currently we're targeting US traffic and Canada traffic and it's pretty much winter there at the minute. Everywhere is either under snow or got some very harsh weather. So gardening at the moment isn't probably going to be searched that much. And the peak in gardening comes between April, May, June, July. So we have the best months to come. So to be getting 361,000 impressions now and the average position climbing, it's really setting us up for month six or seven, which will be right at the peak of summer. So talking of tracking and indexed, here is a snapshot again from the coverage tab on Google Search Console. And this is where you can see if all your articles are actually being indexed and ranked. And as you can see there, we have no errors and we have 613 valid URLs. So that means there are 600 URLs that have actually been picked up indexed and possibly in the SERPs now and climbing up the positions. This chart is quite a natural progression. You can see a slow increase. Google crawls your site. Usually it looks like here every three, four days it comes over and crawls it. And every time it does, it finds those new pieces of content that I've published. So that is exactly what you want to see. And compared to some of my other websites previously, a lot of my new websites, 
this hasn't been the case. It's been really difficult to get articles indexed, but on this age domain, it seems to be working perfectly, just as it should and what we should all expect from Google to do, but often it hasn't happened. But fingers crossed, this is looking good so far. So you can also see here, this is from Amazon and this is for the last couple of months. You can see we have had a few sales as well. So that's good to see. 20 orders received from 409 clicks, conversion 4.89, total earnings of $17.22. So we are actually starting to get a little bit of earnings from Amazon. And again, we're not in the summer season, so I didn't really expect to get many orders yet, but that is again, promising to see. And here we are over at Ezoic and you can see here the earnings for the past seven days, which was $37 in seven days, which isn't too bad at all. You can see there at the bottom, it's registering the number of page views. So hovering around 300 page views per day. And at the weekends on a Sunday, when obviously gardening is quite popular, it jumps up to around 400, 381 there you see. So that is pretty good. And we are seeing some pretty impressive days, you know, $7 day, $6 day. So it's averaging at the moment around between five and eight dollars, which is pretty impressive again, like I say, because we're only getting around 300 page views. So I am pretty happy with that at the moment. If we actually have a look at the analytics, I can show you the EMPV. I can see there we're currently sitting at $18.87. And again, $18.87 for February is pretty good because we are like, again, not in the high months for revenue. We expect quarter three to be very, very good for summer gardening niches. So to get $18.87 EMPV uh, in a off season and one of the advertising's lowest months is again, pretty good. And you can see here, we even touched on at the weekends on $24 and $17. So these are looking very impressive. So I'm really happy with that. And again, you can see their estimated revenue for the last seven days around 40 Dollars, So that is pretty good going. So let's just have a, look, a quick look inside the actual dashboard and show you what we've got going. So plugin wise, let me show you what we've got installed. So I've got the Amilinx Pro, that is the new version on Amilinx Pro, it's really good. It combines the tables and the actual product boxes all in one plugin. You used to have a separate plugin for both, now it's all in one. We have the easy table of contents to get the uh, content list inside each post. Obviously, Ezoic. I use the insert header and footer to insert any code into the um, website, which you don't have to have. You can access your files and do it through that, but I like to just insert it using this plugin. It's very simple. We have iFeed security. I have Link Whisper for internal and external links. And we have SiteKit by Google for tracking my analytics. Again, WordFence security on here. I don't know why we've got two, to be honest, but I uh, could probably get rid of one of those. And I have WP external links. So what that does is that turns all my links to either no follow and no open. So it meets all Google's criteria. You know, Google did a recent update where they said your links for uh, products and things like that should be no follow and opening a new tab. Well, this plugin automatically does it. So if we forget to set any of the links correctly, uh, this WP external links will automatically do that. And if you've got a website that's got hundreds of articles on already, it will transform all those previous links into what you want them to be now. So it will go across all the website, audit the entire website, and turn all those links into no follow. So it's a pretty handy tool and one that I've started using across all my websites. So talking of um, SiteKit by Google, let's just quickly have a look at that. Now you will notice on these, you see a lot of um, disparity between lots of plugins. So for instance, if you went to something like SEMrush and check the numbers, and then you went to your Ezoic dashboard, and then you went to SiteKit by Google, they'll all be very different. So it is difficult to see which one without drilling into the actual details, which one is correct. But I do find that Google Search Console and this are very, very similar. So, you know, we just had a look at the mobile screenshot right at the very beginning. And you can see it was saying around 6,000 organic searches. And this backs that up. And again, it said around 50 to 60% increase month on month. And again, this number seems to back that up. So you can see here, this is pretty accurate. And if we look here, this is the chart I like to use. It's quite quick and simple to have a look at. Again, you can see here, look, organic visitors, 65% up. So that is really good to see. And at the bottom there, in the last 28 days, total impressions, 176,000 total impressions, which is 69% up. 
in the last 28 days and 4,100 total clicks, which is 70% up. Now, if we actually change this to the lifespan of the website, which is around 90 days, you can see here we've had a total of 12,000 users on the site and we've had a total impressions of 338,000 total impressions. And again, I think you can agree that this is a nice, natural, steady climb. But like I say, it's unusual to get 12,000 visitors in four months period on a relatively new website. So again, really, really pleased with that. So why don't we have a quick look at one of the posts and we'll just break it down. So I wanted to show you a couple of different articles. So, so there's a product article here and there's an information here. If we have a look at the product article, you can see how we're laying it out. So we don't do the image first. We always do a intro or a few lines to open the article up. Then we go into an image and then we go into a very standard generic uh, product review. Now, obviously, when it's something like ride on lawnmowers, we're not going to be able to buy that product. I'm not going to be able to review it. So we're just going to do a standard generic review, but giving the best information we can. And it still seems to be working. Although Google did a product update recently, we are still seeing sales and traffic coming from these. So you can see here we have a link over to Amazon in the H2 heading, a couple of images, a call to action, and then we have a product here using, that's the Amalink Pro. These images are pulled in from Amalink Pro. So again, they link over to Amazon. More products. You can see it's quite a standard generic article. And then at the end of the article, we have some information. So what should you look for when buying one? Consider your plowing area, compatibilities, instructions, installation, quality, so we still provide a very helpful information. All these subheadings could actually be part of an informational post, but they're actually part of this product related post. So it still provides a lot of uh, quality information, but hopefully you get a sale as well. And then you can see we've got the related posts here, and this is using the Gutenberg latest post. I have a video on how to make this. In fact, it shows you how to make those. And it also shows you how to make these in the sidebar here. So if you want to know how to make those, check out my video and you'll be able to find out exactly how to do these for your website. So if we go back, we'll just have a look at an informational post. So where do frogs go in winter? So you can see here, we are straight into the snippet. So frogs will hibernate underground or underwater. And then we give a good snippet target answer straight away without anybody having to read through thousands of words before getting the answer. There we go. We've given the answer straight away. But then obviously we go into more detail. And then obviously we go into more detail, the different types of frogs that might hibernate. And we give some nice subheadings, some lovely little images and then finish off with a final thought. So that's kind of a 1000 word informational post. So you can see the difference there between the product and the informational post. Now, one thing I am trying, which I'm just about to set up on this website, is a store. So I'm gonna have a shop tab up here, and that will be a de-indexed page that will have products on, which we will link to. So currently we link straight through to Amazon, but what I'm gonna do is build a shop template here using Amalink Pro, and I'm gonna de-index those products and pages, and I'm gonna have a shop on here what we can link through from our articles. That way we've got less affiliate links in those articles, and they will land on a shop that will have more products. Now, hopefully Google will see that favorably because it will be de-indexed. So Google won't see hundreds and hundreds of affiliate links. They will just see that we have one page on there, but it's not indexed. So it is something I'm trialing on a new site of mine, and so far it's working out pretty good. And again, I'll bring you more details on that when I get some a few sales and a few a bit of data to give you. But yeah, I am going to add a shop to this. So watch this website over the next few months and you'll see a shop tab appear up there. And then you can see exactly how we're building that out. And it might be something that you could consider doing on your website. So all in all, the website is doing really good. Traffic is doing very good. Uh, one thing I will point out as well, I've added the uh, DMCA. So I've joined the DMCA, which is a company that protects your website and your content from being copied. And this website is now tracked. So it will search and scan across the website for similar content to you. 
and it can see if anything's been kind of downloaded or copied and paste, and it can monitor your website for copycats. And then if it finds any, it can actually contact them and say you need to, need to stop doing that, or you need to, you know, you could actually be fined for doing it, or Google could even take your website down, and the DMCA will actually do the process of taking that site down. Now, I have used the DMCA on a couple of websites previously, and I have successfully took a couple of websites down that copied my site word for word, image for image, article for article. Now, I haven't seen that happen on this website yet, but I have put the protection on here. So it is monitoring, and as soon as it finds any article, so it might look for this, you see, how to install a robotic mower charging station, and it will search the internet for this content. And if it finds multiple examples of it, it will warn me, I can check it, and if I find that it's word for word being copied, I would let DMCA know, and they will start the process of either asking them to take that down or to stop it, or eventually reporting them to Google. So. It is something you might want to look into. It costs me around $10 per month and I can actually protect multiple sites. So I pay $10 a month and I've got four sites on there being tracked and monitored for any copycats. And hopefully it's just a little bit of a deterrent to stop anybody doing that. Now the hardened copycat or criminal or thief, whatever you want to call somebody who does this kind of thing, uh, it won't put them off. But hopefully if they're being pestered constantly by DMCA, and the DMCA can report them to your hosting and to Google, which can both end up in a website being taken down. Hopefully, it will make them think twice about doing that. And then you can see right in the bottom corner, I have a video that I made, which is linked directly straight over to a YouTube channel, which I made for this website. So you can see here, Gardenia Organic. I've only got a couple of videos because when I started this YouTube channel, uh, winter <laughs> took hold pretty quickly. So I only managed to get two videos done. But you can see here, this one, has had 10,000 views already. Although we've not had any sales of the product, which is surprising. I did think after 10,000 views, we would have got some sales through YouTube, but it hasn't actually happened. But it has drove a lot of traffic over to this article and to the website. So that has really helped get some of that traffic. But I do think these videos are definitely going to help and I think they will really help build the authority of the website and I will as soon as the sun comes out start making a few more videos and reviewing actually buying and reviewing the products in more detail and you can see here in the right corner here's the link which takes us back over to the website